If you don't have a LinkedIn profile yet, this video is for you. My name is Julian from MicroSkills Academy, and I will show you how to create your LinkedIn profile from scratch in five minutes. The hardest step is just to get started. But all you need is your job title, easy, the company you work at, easy, and a photo. If you don't have a photo, then um, we're gonna link to your Facebook account or your Google account. We really need the photo because when you have a photo, there's seven times more chance for someone to click on your profile. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. So the first step obviously is to go on the LinkedIn website. So linkedin.com. Once you're there, uh, you simply click on join now, top right corner. Here you start entering your contact details, pretty easy. And then I've created a new email address for this exercise. Then you create a password. So that's important that you create a password now uh, because if you um, leave the, the setup, you'll be able to join in uh, wherever you've left your, your account. And you click on agree and join. Just a quick security check, click on, I'm not a robot. All right, so now it's about um, choosing the region. All right, so that's the key information, right? So enter your um, job title. So for me, co-founder, it will search for the plausible ones when you start entering it. And most recent company, so the name of the company. If it's existing, then you'll click on the logo. If it doesn't exist, then it will just create it for you. Click on continue. It will ask you for the industry. So lots of industries to choose from. They're the, the usual ones. I'm gonna pick education management and click on continue. So I've shared my email with LinkedIn. So in order to validate, I need to go and grab the password so I go into my account I take the pin code no, that was a really good copy copy paste I agree and confirm we're almost there so add your email contacts to see who already knows you on LinkedIn. So that's really important, but we don't want to do that straight away because what it will do is it will go onto your uh, address book and check who is on LinkedIn and tell them, hey, the guy that you know is already now on LinkedIn. So we want that, but later on when you have um, a bit more information available on your, on your profile. At the moment, we just want to get started. Skip it, but you can always do it later. Here is like about finding contacts uh, by typing their name. So we want to skip that. You'll be able to do that afterwards. So key step. So if you don't have a photo with you, then you may want to link in with Facebook or Google photo to have your photo. Otherwise, if you do have one, then click on add. There it is, profile. So it's eight megs uh, maximum, so which is really big, so you should not hit that limit and then you can move around. You can um, zoom in, zoom out. You can put some filters if you want to go fancy, go black and white if you want. Um, and you can also crop here, right? Click on save photo. Click on continue. And now, so that's a key um, step. You want to get the LinkedIn app on your phone because most of the time you'll be using LinkedIn on your phone, not on your computer. So the two options here, you either enter your phone number or I'm just putting a funny number, of course. So um, you can text you the link or download um, the um, download the app if you're already on your phone. I'll skip it because we just want to get done and that's it you have your profile on LinkedIn and it's very minimum of course when you click on it it basically says your name your picture the company you work at and your title and to get started that's all you need congratulations you've got your LinkedIn profile
Now, if you want to footproof your online presence with LinkedIn, go to microskills.academy and there is a free course of four steps to make your online presence on with LinkedIn. Thank you.